But despite the amount of rain that's happening outside at the moment, this is my in-scale drive-in. Now, it's on a board that is 500mm wide by about 900mm long, one of several sections to be built. Got a cartoon playing on the drive-in at the moment. Story of Cassie Jones. You can see all the stars in the night sky. I'm trying to get a decent photo of this. is not uh, not very possible on this camera. Being a pain in the bum. And as an in-scale drive-in, we've got all in-scale vehicles, and including one in-scale locomotive on here. These vehicles will need to have the fire optics fitted and lights installed. This one, car on the right. It hasn't got its light switched on yet, and the one on the left it needs to be converted. This, this one really is also fitted up with fiber optics. Then you've got the, you've got the drive in signs here. Nineteen thirties or thereabouts era cartoon, early Disney. My sense of humor. Somebody trying to uh, view the movies without paying. Sort of hinge gates. This truck may not be here later on, but this is going in the annual model train exhibition. I'd be happy to take this drive in this state or anywhere else, as long as I had some sort of financial help. Kids playground in the back here. And so the scale loco at the back. My signage here is supposed to be illuminated, but that's not um, working too well at the moment, so I've un unplugged that. The back of the kitchen area.
Corny bit ridiculous, but still. Okay, I'll just temporarily hook up these fire optics for you. Cameron doesn't like focusing too, too well. A bit hard to see the tail lights on this one. But there's the headlights on this one. As blurry as the shot might be. Uh, there's one week left to go to the model training exhibition. I'll have to have these vehicles all sorted. It may or may not be easy to see, but there is a ticket uh, box office guy in, in, in the uh, projection uh, in the ticket box. All my stars in the night sky with the plane flying over. We do have a Ryan's belt sitting up here. There it is. Two false southern crosses. There's one of them. There's the other one. And just above the drive-in screen, if you can see it, is the actual southern cross the two pointers to the, these two down here to the left. So for those of you who have seen my first video showing the Nightline drive-in in N scale, this is off a different camera. In a slightly different view. Okay, many thanks to those who upload videos to YouTube. Like these cartoons that are on here. I'd like to thank everyone who's uh, put a movie advert or whatever up on YouTube, so I'm using on my drive-in. Another car in from the 1930s at least. And to have a view down through this part of it. Looking through from the, from the ticket box end to the uh, driving screen end. Looking down through the driveway. Best views from this corner of the module. As we come down to ground level, this is roughly how a ground level shot would be outside the drive in. This road is only half a width of the road, the other half will be on another module which will be out here. So it will be a two foot wide module, 610mm 